In today's tutorial, we will demonstrate how to upload content from QuickShow to the FB4 using the FB4 Exporter tool. In QuickShow, once you have your content opened in the workspace and routed correctly, open the FB4 Exporter from the QuickShow main file menu. Choose what pages and queues you want to export. You can delete individual queues by highlighting a queue and hitting your delete key. In the lower right, there is a list of pages you can customize which pages to upload and where pages go in the list of uploaded pages. You can even choose not to upload pages if you only need one or a few pages uploaded. Now you will choose a rendering method you would prefer. There are three methods, master, master by projector, and multi-zone plus output settings. Master. This is to upload queues to any projector without any settings from QuickShow applied to the output of the queues once they are on the FB4 SD card. You will make your projector area adjustments directly from the FB4 menu screen under the Master and Geometric Correction menus. This would be for a queue or animation that is meant to go to any number of projectors. For example, if you had four projectors, then all four projectors should display the same pattern at the same time. Master by Projector. This is to upload queues to specific projectors based on their FB4 serial numbers without any settings from QuickShow applied to the output of the queues once they are on the FB4 memory card. Using this method, you will again make your projection area adjustments directly from the FB4 menu screen under the Master and Geometric Correction settings menus. This would be for a queue or animation that is meant to go to specific projectors, again based on their specific FB4 serial numbers. For example, if you had four projectors, and all four should display a different pattern at the same time. In the QS Export folder, there will be folders named with the serial numbers of the FB4s you have the export content routed to. Multi-zone plus output settings. This is to upload queues to specific projectors based on their FB4 serial numbers with specific settings from QuickShow applied to the output of the queues once on the FB4 memory card. The projection area adjustments will be made in the projector and projection zone settings menu within QuickShow and applied to the uploaded content. This would be for a queue or animation that is meant to go to a specific projector based on the serial numbers of the FB4. For example, if you had four projectors and all four should display a different pattern at the same time, and that needs specific color setting adjustments and projection zone geometric correction settings applied to them. In the QS export folder, there will be folders named with serial numbers for the FB4s you have exported the content routed to. Note the projectors connected by the FB4 serial numbers listed here. Click the export button. You will see the status of each queue exported by an arrow as it is being exported and a check mark once the export is complete. The Content Upload tab will become focused and will show the status of the upload going to the FB4. Once all the queues are exported and uploaded, you can choose the Close button. Now look into the QS Expert folder to see a common folder along with folders for any FB4 serial numbers connected that had content routed to them. Each of these folders has a DMX folder in it. You can open this folder to see the files just exported that can be manually moved over to an FB4 SD card. Additionally, you can copy any of these animation files over to the Auto and Test folders. There you will rename them Auto underscore Q number for Auto Queues and Test underscore Q number for Test Queues. Now these queues can be triggered from the FB4 menu screen using the Auto and Test Operation modes. 
We hope you have found today's tutorial, uploading content to the FB4 using QuickShow, helpful. If you have any questions or comments about this tutorial, or any other laser-related questions, please feel free to contact us at contact at pangolin.com.